I remember the first time that I found myself in a school staff room after I'd left school. I'd only been out of school for one year and I'd gone back with a band to do a week of music lessons for some students. And I sat there in the staff room with all of these teachers feeling like I was in trouble, feeling like I should not be here, feeling totally out of place. I wonder if you've ever felt like that. I wonder if you've ever felt I don't belong here, I shouldn't be here, I am totally out of place. Maybe you turned up to a formal occasion where everyone was wearing like shirts and ties and nice dresses and you were there in your shorts and your flip-flops. Or maybe you went to a, a school non-uniform day and you forgot it was happening and you showed up in your school uniform and you felt, I should not be here, I feel totally out of place. Well, this same thing happened to a woman in the Bible whose name was Esther. She was a Jew, but she found herself exiled to a foreign country called Persia. And not only that, she found herself, cutting a long story short, after a beauty pageant married to the king of Persia. So she was a Jew in exile, she was a peasant in a king's palace, and she could have easily thought, how did I end up here? What am I doing here? There's no reason for me to be here. I feel totally out of place. But something really cool happens in this story where Esther's cousin Mordecai comes and says these words to her and you can read them in the book of Esther chapter 4 and verse 14. He says, and who knows but that you have come to your royal position for such a time as this. And Mordecai is saying to Esther, it may seem from the outside that you are out of place, that you shouldn't be here, but maybe God has a reason for you to be here. You know, sometimes in our schools, among our friendship groups, in our families, in our churches, in our communities, we can feel like, why am I here? I shouldn't be here. But I want you to know today that God made you on purpose for a purpose. That you are not among the people and the places and the communities that you are by accident, but because God has appointed you there for such a time as this. For such a time as this, to be an influencer, to be a culture changer for him in those places and among those people. And so, over the next six episodes of this vlog, we'll be talking about how you can be a culture changer for such a time as this in your family, online, in your communities, in your churches, and in the places and among the people where you find yourself. Could it be that God has called you for such a time as this to bring a transformation to the places that you live?